Hi there, and welcome to Pollywog Lagoon. I'm going to be reading the Lego Movie Number 2 book, Welcome to Apocalypseburg. I have some of the small foot crew here with me, as well as Cars 3, Lightning McQueen, Cruz Ramirez, and Mater. Oh, and we can't forget about Spider-Man. Before we get started, if you'd like to, you can click that red subscribe button to see more videos we post all the time. The Lego Movie Number 2, Welcome to Apocalypseburg. Adapted by Kate Howard. On Taco Tuesday, the people of Bricksburg were invaded by aliens. We, we come from the Duplo planet and we are here to destroy you. Well, that sounds cozy, doesn't it? In the days that followed, Bricksburg changed. The once great city was now a wasteland called Apocalypseburg. Lucy had become an even stronger leader than before. She mastered the art of survival. This is crucial in order to survive. You must adapt and become a stronger leader. Unikitty was once a picture of happiness. After Taco Tuesday, she had no choice but to spend more time than ever as her alter ego, Angry Kitty. Fear me. And even though Batman was always awesome, no one could deny this new life had hardened everyone. Yes, even Batman. Well, I reckon I would keep my distance from that angry little kitty. Woo, I wouldn't want to be on her bad side. Well, it had hardened almost everyone, but not Emmett Bukowski. He was as cheerful and caring as always. Good morning, Emmett would call out as he skipped through the streets of his favorite destroyed city. Hello, cyborgs. Hello, sewer babies. It's important to stay positive in even the worst situations. Great job, Emmett. Emmett, Lucy grumbled one morning. You've got to stop pretending everything is awesome. It isn't. Emmett cheered and pointed at the sky. Look, a shooting star. Make a wish. Just a wild guess here, but that probably wasn't a shooting star. Oh no, Lucy moaned. That's not a shooting star. It's something new. It was a spaceship. Nah, eh, that was a good guess. As the spaceship drew closer, Emmett heard catchy music blasting out of the vessel. That beat is pretty fresh, Emmett said. Suddenly, the ship launched a little heart-shaped device at the three friends. Hello, the cute little heart said. Then it blinked and began to ring. They should probably start running away now. Run, Lucy screamed. Seconds later, the heart exploded. It blew everything around them into pieces. Emmett and his friends fled in an escape vehicle that Lucy quickly built out of loose parts, but the strange space vessel tracked their every move. This is about to get interesting. When the spaceship found them, a masked pilot stepped out of it. She was the ship's general, and her name was Sweet Mayhem. Sweet Mayhem ordered, bring me to your fiercest leader. Lucy pushed Emmett forward. This guy is a fierce warrior, Sweet Mayhem asked. <laughs> it says personality assessment is weak, naive, simple, powerless, and less than special. These are not normally qualities I would suggest in a leader. Lucy shrugged. Okay, well, technically I did the warrior stuff. You fought and master built, and then the hapless male was the leader? Sweet Mayhem asked. Sweet Mayhem shook her head. She was not impressed. Jeez, they're kind of being a little rough on Emmett. Before Emmett had a chance to defend himself, Sweet Mayhem gathered up all of Emmett's friends. She loaded them onto her ship and took them away. Lucy! Emmett yelled as the ship blasted off, but his best friend was gone. Emmett was the only one who could get his friends back. He could finally prove he was a hero. It's time to let your light shine, little Emmett. Hang on to your fronds, Planty, Emmett said, preparing to launch into space. We're going to save Lucy and all the other people who were captured. With nothing more than his pal Planty and a flying house rocket, Emmett blasted off into outer space to save his friends. Go, Emmett. That'll show them. Whoa! Angry Kitty, Batman, Benny, and Metalbeard were all impressed by Sweet Mayhem's home. No woes. Do not give her the satisfaction of woeing this. Oh, I can't wait to check out what they're woeing. Ah! Her friends continued. Stop it, Lucy said. In space, Emmett's ship was in danger. Luckily, help was nearby. 
Mind if I save your life? An ultra cool space pilot asked. He swooped in to help steer Emmett's ship to safety. The name's Rex. Rex Danger Vest. Seems legit. I'm a big fan of yours, Rex told Emmett. You're the reason I started wearing a vest. Rex joined Emmett on his mission. Rex invited Emmett onto his ship. It was screwed by a bunch of raptors. Rawr. As they blasted off into space, Emmett thought about all the fun times he and his best buds had together. He needed to get them back. He would get them back. It was time to make everything awesome again. Go, Emmett. Go, Emmett. Get your friends back. Get your friends back. Oh, check out these cool stickers. The end. Thank you so much for joining us while we read the Lego Movie Number 2 book, Apocalypseburg. We'll see you again really soon. Bye-bye.